Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. We are checking out a new game today that was recommended to me. It is called Super Liminal. It's a puzzle game. I have no clue what we're in for. I thought we'd just hop in and see what's going on. We're going to click new game here. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent pending Somnusculpt technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnusculpt will make your dreams come true. All right, looks like we're calling 155 Some Sculpt today, and we're going to see what's going on here as we load in. Like I said, I have no clue what this game is going to be about. I've never heard of it, never seen any videos on it. Looks like we got basic controls here, WASD to move, and our mouse. Oh, okay. I thought we were looking at a piece of paper. Apparently, we are in a room. We got a couple speakers, uh, some lights above us, uh, fire alarm. Very nice. No doors. Oh. All right, now there wasn't a door there earlier, right? Uh, I know this game can be a little bit uh, mind-bending sometimes, but I think we're in for a bit of a surprise. Let's uh, let's walk over here and uh, grab this Terms of Service here. We're going to go ahead and sign that. Can we read that? No, I can read Terms, Pricing, Security Deposit, Cancellation, Keys, and Parking Pass, Use, Clinic, Betting Arrangements, and Phone. However, that phone number is redacted, and it looks like we are 821 of 91. So that's like a year and a half before I was born. All right, well, let's uh, let's keep heading this way. I, I A little bit I know about this game. It's like perception. You know, things, things change. So that was room 208, so we should probably remember that. Um, all right, let's just head down this hallway here. Anything change on us? No, I don't think anything changed. All right, into this room. We got some chess pieces, it looks like underneath this lamp or yeah um perception is reality grab okay we're gonna grab this um okay so it's a small little guy oh now it's a big little guy oh i see okay so we're gonna have to be changing object size oh my god this thing's like massive now now can i like get it smaller there so i don't think i can get it much smaller than this unless i like walk it right up against the wall okay there we go <laughs> that's pretty cool um We'll just go ahead and we'll put this back here. Yeah, it's even smaller than we started. So let's see if I can put it up against the wall like this. And then, oh, it's still fairly large. Let's try, let's try this again. We're going to get it really small. Oh, it's still pretty big. Yeah, okay. So we, we know we can change the size of objects, it looks like, depending on our perception of the object. So there, now that guy's really small again. And then we're just going to put him right there. He's just going to, is he floating? No, he's on the piece of paper. Okay, the shadow's just a little bit off. Anything change down this way? No, that's all the same. All right, shall we continue on? Oh, there's a big piece, uh, a rook there. We're just going to walk forward with this and make him really, really small. Get him out of our way. Space to jump. That's pretty standard. All right, and out we go. Oops, there's another camera down there. So before we go on any further, down in the comments below... Let me know what you think's going on. Are we in Terms a dream? Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. All right, so like I was saying, just down in the comments below, let me, uh, let me know what you think's going to happen because I think this game's going to get pretty trippy pretty fast. All right, so... Hold right click to rotate. I am holding right click. Do I have to? There we go. Okay, so you got to click it and then right click to rotate it. Got it. So we got some um, cubes here, some blocks here, and we got some chess pieces with this chess board. We'll drop that. That's 08. Um, I guess let's start by making some of this stuff small. Yeah, we'll bring that down in size. Let's make this small. Uh, is it hiding behind one of these? I wonder if there's a door. No. Oh, there's the door. Okay. Uh, so it's up there. 
we'll put a box there and then let's get this box a little bit bigger All right here we go um, no I didn't I want it to get bigger not smaller so if I'm approaching the wall it gets smaller there we go so I think I have to like keep doing there we go okay we're getting this so let's just bring this over here and let's see if we can get up there here we go oops and there we go and I jumped too much but we made it in all right so I gotta get my perception skills a little bit better you would think as a dentist I would know what I'm doing here all right no objects beyond this point at all times so I'm guessing if we pick this up um, yeah we can't take it through with us okay so there are some screens there that will prevent us from carrying blocks and things like that with us that's okay all right in a big room again here nothing too crazy I'm assuming this is where our uh, people, our qualified specialists, are looking at us. But there is a, a block through the door here. Um, so I bet you we got to step here, grab that block, back up, and we're going to drop that. There we go. Okay. We're kicking butt on this puzzle so far. Got this table. I'm going to say, oh, now we probably have to grab the block again. And let's make that bigger. Um, no, hold on. I got to. I gotta come to it. Here we go. Pick it up. Then I'm gonna back up. But I don't want it too big. I gotta be able to jump up on top of it initially. Uh, there we go. Okay. And then in through the hallway. Nice. All right. I'm getting this down. Can I pick up this box? No. What's this a box for? Uh, there's a lot of electric shocks on it. Some batteries on it or in it maybe. Uh, confirm. confirm. You can, move, you can freely. move freely. Interact with surrounding objects and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. <laughs> okay, thank you. So we got a paint bucket here. Um, we can pick that up and let's just bring that with us. It looks like they painted that chess piece on there. Um, okay, can I do anything with the, the paint bucket? I don't think so. I don't see anything else to do here. Other than it was just painted on there in a very trippy fashion. All right, let's continue this way. So as we're walking through these hallways here, don't forget to leave me a comment on down below. Um, you know, what's going on in your life? Oops, okay, let's go ahead and pull this out. Um, and I'm guessing there's like a, a trigger or something over here. There we go. We're kicking butt and taking names. Yeah, as always, I want to hear about you guys, hear what you're doing. If you're new to the channel, say hi. I'd love to hear from you. We got some regulars so far. I, I enjoy talking to our regulars, but always want to talk to someone new. And if you are new, don't forget to like and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in orderly fashion. All right, hold right click to rotate. Uh, so we, I'm guessing we have to turn this into a ramp of sorts. So we'll pick up this piece of cheese. And where's the door? There. So we're going to come here, make it really small, and then just keep backing up to make that pretty big. Is there anything else we can pick up? Can't pick up that. Can't pick up that. Okay. Um, and we're going to come here again. We'll pick it up again. And we're going to make it really big. And let's just move it closer here. Still not quite where we need it to be. Let's back it up a little bit more again. All right. We're getting pretty big now. Let's see if we can... We'll drop it. I don't think I can make that jump. No, still not quite big enough. All right, let's make this ramp even, or bigger, piece of cheese even bigger. Back up a little bit more again. Drop that there. Even more. Oof, okay. And we're going to put that right up there. Oh, did I shrink it? I shrunk it. Okay, let's make that bigger. This thing's massive now. Wowzers. Okay, I think we should be able to make this jump. Yep, there During we go. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. <laughs> Please complete the remaining orientation activities. All right. Thank you, SOP, or SOP, or Standard Operating Protocol Procedure, or whatever your name was. Oh, we got a big block there. Uh, not much going on over here. Um, and we got to make it small. So we got to make it small and probably put it on that switch there. So let's make it super small. Um, interesting. We can move these boards away I'm guessing we're not supposed to go that way but uh, yeah let's let's go that way shall we can we take all these boards off we can boop 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 okay and let's see what's going down the scary dark hallway dream soda 
Okay, I can't interact with anything here. Uh, we can get... Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. No, I want my soda. We got red, we got green, um, so smooth, and I can't quite read that last word. And then we got green, made with real, what's that say? Percocet? I can't read that other one. Uh, random soda with a bunch of question marks, baking, mini, and water soda. Let's go random soda and see what happens here. So we got our can of random soda. Let's take that with us here. And okay, we got our big can. Can I shake it up? Let's see if we can shake it up. And we're going to drop it there. And can I open it? No, I can't. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty big. Let's get that nice and small. I wonder if there's something we're supposed to do with this can of soda. Was there like a... Uh, what's that? I can't tell what that is. Let me know in the comments down below if there's something I'm supposed to do with that can of soda. I don't... Can I get multiple sodas? Oh, the machine does not seem to like that. Alright, well, we only get one soda. Um, Alright, let's see if something happened out here now that we clicked on that again. Our can is still there. Let's put the can on the switch. Maybe that does something a little different. Um, put that there. Yeah, let's get it up there. There we go. It rolls. Is it going to roll through? It's keeping the door open. We got to go quickly. All right. We got through this door. Uh, and let's continue through. We got a broken window. That's probably not good. A lot of shards of glass. Um, I can see a switch down there. So let's get our block. Ooh, something just pushed me. Or was that me? That might have been just me. Yeah, that might have been me. All right, so let's get this block here, bring that through, and then we're going to make it small, make it small again, and then we'll go down. Ooh, um, let's see. Super small there. Can I throw it? I can't quite get it through that broken glass. Let's do that and then try again. Nope. All right, can I get it through there now? What am I doing wrong here, folks? I don't want it there. Can I, like, drop it from... Do I, like, drop it way up here? Is there another switch I'm missing? That's clearly our switch, right? Like, how do I... Hmm. Well, this is embarrassing. I'm not getting it right away. Uh, let's see. Is there something else over here I'm missing? No. That's all that. Well, I know what I need to do. Do I have to rotate it, maybe? Let's try rotating it and then dropping. Or do I have to like throw it? I wonder if I have to throw it. Let's try that. No, it's hitting the... I can't quite get it through the window. Ha! Man, it doesn't want to go. What the heck? All right, when I right click, there we go, finally. I don't know why that took so long. Ah, okay. Through the All store environments here. environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Let's see, 1991, what would we want a gift card for? I don't know. Walmart? Maybe? Mm hmm Okay, so... Um, let's look through here. There's the switch. We can't go this way because it'll click out. So we probably got to grab it. Can we grab it through the door and bring it over? Let's try that. Let's do this. I don't think we can. I think it'll freak out. Yeah, we can't do that. So we probably got to kind of throw it over the top. Um, so let's drop it from there. Boom. Okay. That one was a lot easier than that last one. All right. And through the puzzle. All right. No items. Video surveillance. People without items beyond this point will be fine. Wait, without items? No items. People without items beyond this point will be... Oh, will be fine. I get it. I get it. Funded by Mothers Against Items. M-A-I. Uh, let's see, warning. People beyond this point will be object... With objects will be fine. Suspension of dream license up to one year. Fines from one lost night of sleep to four. Uh, be smart. Thank you for not objecting. 
uh, report abuse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. All right, and we continue on down the hallway. Uh, we got a chess piece there and some interesting artwork. And let's see, okay, down the, oops, nope. Down here, we got the same thing. And I just, okay, hold on. Yeah, okay, so we, that spins you around like that. We're getting a little trippy here, boys and girls. So let's see, if I come this way, it puts me out through the blue door. So if I go through this door, it puts me out the door with the red on the insides. I got that, okay. There's something I need to grab. Can I grab anything? That's showing the apples, okay. And that's showing that. Okay, got that, I got that. We're, I understand what's going on. Um, camera there, here's the door. Um, so that was just like a weird loop, I guess? I don't, I don't know. Um, let's just drop down. And we got a couple switches here. So that opened that door there. And then I bet you this opens this door here. Now, is there anything we can grab? No, we can't grab anything. Um, was I supposed to grab something up there? Can I jump? No, I can't do that. Can I grab the sign? Ah, okay, so let's, we'll put the sign on this switch. That'll open this door. So then we probably go through here. Is there another sign we can grab? No. Um, so we need to get the sign from the switch back so we can open that door. But the second, I, I can't grab it through this door. Is there something, is there a light? Um, or that, or do I have to make the sign just massive and it hits both switches? Let's try that. No, I need to make it massive. Back up, Andrew. All right, let's do that. Ooh, I just said my name. You guys know my first name now. Let's see if anyone catches that. We'll back up again here. And then we should be able to, to rotate it here. All right, and then let's, oops, this might be too big at this point. All right, and we'll keep backing up. Ooh, that's really big now. And back up one last time. All right, and then let's, nope, I just made it small. I just messed up. All right, let's pick it up and rotate it. Let's see if it's long enough. It's gonna fall down. Um, I see I keep making it. That's not what I want game. All right, let's do this and Then drop it there. So it's only hitting ah. All right, and then we'll pick it up rotate it a little bit it's Still not quite as big as I want all right back up even more All right, and then we'll get right on top of it ah. This is harder than it looks, guys. I am not very good at this, apparently. See, and whenever I pick it up, it just gets super small. So I think if I want it to stay big, I gotta stand back, right? But then how can I bring it up without changing its size? Do I have to, like, keep it, like, right here, maybe, where I can't change the perception? Or do I have to make it big and drop it? All right, and then let's drop it there. Okay, we got both, but it might be blocking the door. We're gonna find out here in a second. Um, no, okay, it rolled off and both doors are open. Nice. I am not very good at this. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. Yay. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Okay, I will proceed through the final doorway. Um, can I come back this way? No, okay. This wall seems out of place. Oh wait, we got a crack here. Let's see, exit. I can grab the exit sign. We're gonna pull the exit sign through. Can I grab the piece of cheese or whatever that is? We can, we'll pull the piece of cheese through. Um, can I grab anything else? There's some pallets there, uh, a dark hallway. I can't see much else. Let's um, put the cheese there. Can I use the wedge to get anywhere? I don't see anything. I wonder. Ooh, I wonder if I could wedge this open. Okay. Um, now we're now we're thinking, Lincoln. Uh, let's rotate this a little bit here, and drop that there. Can I like? Let's see here. Pick it up. Can I wedge it in there? Like literally wedge it in there. And then let's let's pick it up again and then we're gonna keep making it big um oh wait this broke can i like push this over or anything 
No. I don't think I can like use it to wedge these doors open. Or I'm just not very good at it. Yeah, I don't think I'm very good at it. So let's just... Yeah, see, I can't... It just kind of pops out. Okay, so I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. Well, maybe it is, because this is a, a brick wall. Do I need to knock this down, maybe? Is there something through here I can grab? Um, let's just try hitting it. Can I get up and over? No, that's not it. Um, it's got to be like some sort of like wedging action to wedge this wall open. It's got to be, and I'm just not doing it very well. Story of my life. I don't do anything very well. All right, and then let's try this again. See, that's just not not doing what I want it to do. See, and it just shrinks. It won't... Hmm. Can I hit... Can I, like, climb up, maybe? Okay, that wall is a little more loose. So maybe it's supposed to be this wall. Can I, like, jump and hit it or something? Ugh! Let's try, let's try it here. Alright, there's gotta be. What am I doing wrong, da? Alright, let's try this again. Right? I'm seeing this wall move, right guys? I'm not that crazy. That's right, I gotta stay back. Stay back. Alright, let's do that again. Nope, let's do... There it goes. Okay, I knew something had to fall over. Jeez, it was that one. That took longer than it should have. So hopefully you guys are okay with me taking longer on these puzzles than some of those speedrunners. Um, Oh, this one would have moved too. Oh, all these walls would have moved. Ah, okay, that's fine. We made it through. Nothing in the dumpsters to see. We are in the back area, the behind rooms. Anything in the barrel? Nope. Or the bucket. Got a dolly there. Let's go check uh, over here. This is all still the same room. We got an electric panel here. We won't do anything with that. All right, some extra walls. Nothing back there. Nothing we can interact with. And let's uh, let's head this way down this creepy hallway again. Got the save symbol showing up. Nice drink there. Uh, we can't use the phone. Uh, oh, whoa. Okay, I didn't even see that. I guess we're just falling into our bed and boom, loading. Wowzers. Okay. Let's load in here. We're waking up, it sounds like. And I think this might be a good spot to end our first video of Subliminal. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Let me know how big of a ding-dong I am, because apparently I have no clue what I'm doing on those puzzles. I was really struggling with that last one. But if you did enjoy me struggling, don't forget to like and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for coming out today, and we'll see you in the next Subliminal video. Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today here in Superliminal. That's right, we're back in everyone's favorite perception-based game. Let's go ahead and turn this alarm off here at 3 a.m. Ugh, we are up early. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, I highly recommend you go back and check that out just to get an idea of what's going on in the game. Uh, so we're at this, like, sleep study center place, and, uh, we're kind of in a dream state, and we got to figure out some of these puzzles as we get going here. So let's just kind of explore our environment. Looks like we're in some sort of office. Yeah, we're in some sort of office. Uh, I think we've just woken up. We got suit A, G, B. Okay, so there's more suits down there, and I, I don't think we can get back there. Nope. And we were in suit F. So we need to remember that, and it's it's three in the morning. Okay, so let's go ahead and head this way again, and see if we can get out of the office and figure out where we're supposed to go. A uh, little waiting room here. Ah, here's the vending machine. Let's see, what do we want to drink? Let's get uh, let's get some baking soda, shall we? Actually, let's get two. And this machine's not gonna like that. And we we'll take our soda and let's just we'll drop it in the trash can there. Oh, we got a got an award. Look at that there. All right, headed on down here into the hallway, and now I feel like we're in some sort of hotel. Yeah, we're not in the office anymore, some sort of hotel. If 
I, I like the I like the music. Let me turn my volume up a little bit here. I want to listen to this music as we play. Nice. All right. So down in the comments below, let me know what you think of this game so far. How uh, crazy it is if you if you're enjoying it. Some doors are best left closed. Isn't that the truth? Additionally, down in the comments below, let me know. Uh, we got a door. Oop, we could click on that if we wanted. That fire extinguisher has already been used up. Uh, down in the comments below, let me know what you think of this game so far. What's going on? Ooh, we got one of those like Willy Wonka hallways. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the first Willy Wonka with uh, Gene Wilder. Great movie, by the way. But uh, yeah, I don't think we can get through that door yet. We can't can't jump and we can't can't crouch. All right, so let's head back this way and we'll we'll click on this door over here and oh, we're just gonna take the door right off. Very nice. All right, still in the hotel. Let's see, we got a door down here we could click through and uh, exit temporary move, temporarily moved. Um, we can grab that sign and take that off the wall too if we wanted. All right, let's head down this way. Looks like we got a, ooh, that's starting to get it closer and closer and, oh, okay. Another optical illusion there for us. All right, what else do we got? We got a dead end hallway here with no doors and oop, some craziness over here. Uh, yeah, very optical illusion-y. All right, and let's go through this door here. And looks like we are still in the hotel. I'm using air quotes here, but uh, not in the hotel. Can we go all the way around? Yeah, none of these doors open. None of these windows open either. We can't, oh, we can grab the signs like we did last time. Looks like there's a, a spot up there we can try and get into. What's this here? It's a piece of paper. We can't grab or do anything with that. Nope, that fire extinguisher's been extinguished. All right, let's get our sign here and let's uh, get up and out. Let's move this back a little bit here. All right, and drop that there. Oh, good. We should be able to run up, and let's see if we can make it. There we go. Can I make it up onto the scaffolding? Nope, not really. I don't think there's anything up there. All right, so we've beaten the first puzzle. We got this here. Uh, cloud insert, new cube design, too much. There's some erasers and pens. We can't touch any of that. Portal prototype Z clipping. Huh. Order more red paint. Can never have enough red paint. Oh, there's another fire extinguisher here. Let's uh, go ahead and exhaust that one there. And looks like we've got a door. Can we do anything with this door? No, just uh, some trippiness on the other side. Can I open it? Nope, can't interact with it that way. Let's go ahead and uh, click on this boom box here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry, we're working on it. Hmm, sounds like they're tracking us here in our dreams. All right, back into a hotel type area. And it looks like we need to go through here. All right, uh, there's the exit. Can I grab the exit sign? Nope, I don't think we can make this jump. Not that. So let's see what we got here. A little conference room. There's a cube or something over here. Can I? I can't grab the cube. Uh, can't grab anything here. Go ahead and activate that fire alarm. Nothing under there. Nothing on the screen. Projector. Can't do that. All right. So there's got to be something with this. Oh, is this what we got to do? Line up the. That's neat. I like that mechanic. Okay. So you got to find the object or line the object up to. To activate it so let's go ahead and drop our cube here and then we'll jump up and jump up one more time nice that was an easy puzzle another fire alarm we can trigger there all right and it looks like what do we got here a line i can line up up oh, there's more there um what's behind me oh there's a table oh there's the legs for the table so let's let's do this there we go so we got the table to spawn in and there's a cube there oh and the flowers, tricky. I like this, kind of like a, a visual puzzle. And we'll grab that cube. We'll probably use that here in a minute. We'll go ahead and trigger that fire alarm as well. Anything over here that's useful? No, no. Oh, this has like stairs in the center of it or something. All right, so I bet you we have to bring this over here to get up there and we'll drop that down. Perfect. 
And up we go. And there we go, another puzzle solved. Onwards and upwards. So we got an exit door. Um, let's do the fire extinguisher here. We already did that one. All right, so I wonder if we have to grab, yeah, let's grab this, here we go. We'll bring this up with us. And then we're gonna go like right, right there. And then hopefully we can swing around. Yeah, we should be able to swing around like this. If not, we'll move it. Nice, okay. Uh, perception is reality, isn't that the truth? Perception is reality. Okay, let's go ahead and get this door spawned in and we can take that off and, oh, there we go. We opened an emergency exit there that we can get through. Can I grab this sign? I could go, let's go check out over there and see if there's something we can do over there. Let's just drop this here. Can I jump up on it? Nope, okay, move that. Bring our crate over here. And then we'll hop up here. I don't know if there's gonna be anything up here. It might just be a, oops, we're stuck there. A decoy side. Some luggage. Nope, not much over here that uh, that we need to do. All right, let's go ahead and go through the door and looks like we're going into the back rooms again. Big old piece of wall there with red paint on it. Dark red paint, eh, light red paint. Uh, can we see through this? Yeah, but there's not much going on. We still can't interact there. Ooh, we got another recording. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Not really. Uh, don't let me know I'm lost. I'd prefer not to hear that. Got some stuff on the tack board back here. We got Dream Diary May. February of 92, how to start it. I can't quite read all that small print. Symbolic meaning and brain waves. Lucid dreaming. Please head to the exit to wake up. All right, well, let's uh, keep heading this way here. Uh, still can't do anything with these doors. Rye sand shipping box, rice cakes and assorted candies. Uh, interesting choice there. Nothing over here we can do. Another punch card, can't do anything with that. And let's pop through here. All right, so I see a big chess piece, and there's a cube there. So let's let's figure out what we need to do. What do we got over here? Just a reflection of it. All right, so the cube. I bet you we have to do the cube kind of like this. All right, now we got the cube. Nice. Uh, and then let's make the cube bigger here, and then we'll hop up. And I bet you we got to get up on that yellow platform there to activate the chess piece. All right, nothing over here. Nothing over there. Okay. We'll swing around, and oh, I gotta go forward a little bit. There we go, chest piece activated, and we'll move that out of the way, and ooh, there's a door there. Um, let's let's go check out this door, and then we'll head that way as well. Uh, we'll make this cube, oh, cube a little bit bigger, and we'll do this again here. I know I'm not the greatest at this. It's kind of ironic being a dentist that my uh, perceptual stuff is not the, the not the greatest. All right, can we get this jump? There we go get that fire alarm. Um, I wonder if we need this chest piece to then jump up on top of that. All right, there we go. Fire extinguisher, we'll activate that. And, uh, oh, we got an achievement. Please use the other door. Ah, so it's a dead end, because I don't think I can interact with anything down here. Nope. All right, anything here? We got StairCon, annual conference this week. Proper flooring support, pitch lines for your pitch lines, advance in railing design, uh, getting stairs for your stairs, is curve the new straight, know your nosing. I like getting stairs for your stairs. Ooh, we can grab this dice. Um, anything else in there we can do? No, it's got a, uh, I wonder if we, hold on. Let's put that there. Um, can I rotate this? Let's. Why has it got a chess piece on it? Can I do anything with that? Let's see, let's make this super small. Pick this up and we're gonna rotate it. Oh, that's not gonna do anything. Um, I don't know. Well, down in the comments below, let me know if you know what we're supposed to do there. Maybe I'll have to look it up online. Uh, it's moving. That's probably not supposed to happen. There we go, it fell off. Um, Cause I, I can't. I can't figure anything out. Um, I guess I could make this a lot smaller. Here, let's pick this up and see if we can make this like really small. 
All right, and let's see if maybe we can like insert it into the. Nope, that's not doing anything. Hmm. I don't know. Probably another puzzle that we'll never never figure out. Or well, we'll come back and look at it if we know what we're supposed to do. Anything down here we're supposed to mess with? Some lights or windows with a, a power switch behind it. Hmm. Anyways, anything in the trash can? Nope. All right, onwards into the scary outside warehouse area. Okay, anything in these warehouses? We got a dumpster. I can't open that. Nothing there. Nope, nothing there. A super small door that eh, can't do anything there. Hmm. Can I drive the forklift? No. Disappointing. Okay. But we can jump up on top of it and then fall off it. All right. Can I interact with the crane? No. Darn. Um, could I, wait, hold on. It's a crane, it's just a regular crane hook. I wonder if we're supposed to do something with that crane. Uh, I doubt it. Let's, well, we can grab the box or the cube, but I left those up there. Hopefully we can grab them. All right, let's jump on top of the trash can here and we'll grab the cube. All right, can we do anything out here with the cube? Let's make this cube really big. And we'll jump up on top of that and see if we can see anything on the other side of the wall. Uh, oops, nope, there's a ceiling. Okay, we can't go that way. Well, anyways, let's just go through this door and there's another boom box. Let's see what the good doctor has to say to us. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. I like it. Confidence. All right, so let's pop through here. Got a fire extinguisher that we can exhaust as well. Already triggered that. All right, so the moon's pretty. Let's see what we got here. Anything? That fire extinguisher. I bet you this is supposed to be like the elevator. So how do we... Let's see. Let's see how we trigger the elevator. A couple fire alarms we can activate while we're looking. I think I said this once, but I'll say it again. Don't forget to comment on down below on anything you want to comment on. Like the video. Subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. So you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. I appreciate everything you guys have been doing. Your comments, your likes, your views, your view hours. That's what I'm here for. Uh, and like I said, I appreciate everything you guys do here as I struggle to figure out this next puzzle. Why are those windows open? Oh, tricky, tricky. Okay, we got the moon. And let's see here. We got another uh, boom box there. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, Please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Yeah, I'm putting my trash in there. Don't, don't spit my trash back out at me. Ugh. All right, so here's the elevator. Let's, uh, or the door. It's an exit door. Can I put it in there? Or I wonder if I just have to go through it. Yeah, I think we just have to go through it. Can I fit through here? We can. Nice. Another fire alarm there we can trigger. And let's keep heading down the hall here to the elevator. Uh, don't get lost. What if there's a fire in the elevator? Beer fun, $5, Dakota. Regular person, three to five dreams per night. Don't meet sister-in-law. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that fire extinguisher there as well. And let's hop in the elevator and let's see what happens here. Seize the day. Uh, ooh, the French. We know them oh, for their excellence. Couldn't read that as fast as I would have liked. But that's okay. And it looks like we're finishing up the episode. Oh, that alarm. And now it's 4 a.m. instead of 3 a.m. Let's go ahead and pause that there for a second. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here in Super Liminal. I thank you guys for coming out and enjoying this Tooth and Scrubs gaming video. I appreciate you. I appreciate your views, your likes, your comments, your watch time. Love it. Love you guys. Thank you so much for coming out, and we'll see you in the next Superliminal video.
Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today here in Superliminal. We are checking out the Cubism episode. If you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, go back and check those out so you kind of get an idea of what's going on in this dreamlike puzzle simulation game that we are working our way through. So if you remember the last episode, we kind of started in a similar, or actually we started in the same place, the suites, not the suits, um, and we're going to see what else is going on. I'm assuming this episode will have some different puzzles. Uh, let's see here. We got, uh, let's go up the diet soda this time. There we go. We got a nice diet soda and um, made it nice and big there. And can we open it? No, we can't. Eh. All right. Anyways, let us move forward here. So we're also on the lookout for fire extinguishers and those fire alarms we need to pull. And we're coming out of the office, and we already got a different um, entrance here. And I like that music. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. That's us. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. Of course we will. So I feel like we're in a museum now. Oop, and there's a, an alarm there. Let's go ahead and pull that. Uh, yeah, this feels very museum-like to me. Can we get any water out of the fountain? No. Uh, curators only. Well, we are curating our own dream. Uh, what do we got? Perception is reality. Your friendly doctor. P.S. We'll get through this together. March of 91. I can't read some of that other stuff. Looks like the moon cycle down there. Uh, some papers over here. Laptop, or not laptop, a monitor. Okay. Oh, here's the dice we need. And let's make that a little bit bigger. And I'm assuming we just got to hop up here. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Easy puzzle. Cubism. Oh, because it's a cube. Ha. Uh, can we grab the pillow? No. What about the can underneath? Nope. Can't do anything with that. Onwards then. Got another fire extinguisher here. Let's. Oh, I already did that one. And. Ooh, another alarm switch. Grab that. There is our next cube, and oh, it splits in half. So we probably have to kind of make this like a stair. So we'll put that one there, and then let's grab this other one, and we'll put that right there like that, and then we can jump up, jump up, and here we are on the next level of our museum that we're playing through. Got another cube here. Oh, we're just taking the whole floor out, eh? Okay, well, we'll jump down there in a second. Let's see if we got anything else over this way. Uh, it wants us to go back that way. Can we open this door? No. All right, let us head over here because I see a fire extinguisher. And we'll get that extinguished. Open up that. Can we take the tape off? No, but that's that's where we came out of. Weren't we in Sweet B? Uh, I can't remember. Anyways, none of these doors open, so I think we got to hop down. <laughs> it was telling us that's where we need to go. All right, so if you've been enjoying these videos in Tooth and Scrub Gaming, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you get all this content on time and in an orderly fashion. Oh, I want to spin this so I can actually see what's going on down here. There we go. Uh, nothing there. We've got a big chess piece and a chess board. So let's just drop that there, see if we can... Can we get the chess piece? We can. Can we put that on the chess board? Uh, it's not letting us do it. Let's make this really small now. Let's get it up against this wall here. This should make it really small. There we go. Down it goes. We'll pick that up. And then let's see what happens when we place it on the board. Nothing. Uh, I thought we'd unlock a secret or something. Anyways, let's spin this this way. Nothing on those walls. Guessing we go through this grate here. We do. And we got another message coming our way. Additional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Okay, explosive mental overload, my favorite type of overload. Can I mess with this valve? No. Hmm. Anyways, um... Let's go through this portal here. We got another fire extinguisher we can use there. And we got two die, um, one with a chest piece on it. Can we make this jump? We can. So what are these here for? 
I guess uh, we don't need them. Can I like throw them down the hallway? Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, onwards we go. There's probably some puzzles I'm missing. Hopefully not too big of puzzles. If you guys have played this game before, let me know. Leave a comment on down below if I am missing some cool features and we can always come back and check those out. That door's closed as well. Let's check this one over here. Yep, that one's closed too. So we'll climb to the top of the stairs here. Looks like there's some more contract stuff. There's a ball in here. Or an apple? I can't tell, but we can't interact with it. All right, does this door open? Nope, so down the hall we go. Another fire extinguisher. We've already done that one. I've already pulled that alarm. All right, so we got three die. Oh, okay, so this slides that way. And then there's another one here. That one slides that way. Um, interesting, okay, so maybe we have to bring this all the way across like this. And then how's this one move? Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. Or is it just... Do I just jump up there? See, that doesn't... Uh, hmm. Okay. Let's just go ahead and hop up here, because I think that's how we proceed through the level. Is there something else we're supposed to... Let's do this. Let's bring this in a little bit more. Okay, and then can I... Oh, this one's like sealed in the ground now. Oh, no, there we go. Let's, um... I don't think I can stand on it and carry it up too much. So let's do something like this, maybe. There we go. And now can I... I can't make that jump. Okay, let's get back up here. And then can I, like, drag it up while I'm standing on it? No, I don't think I can. All right, fine. I'm going to say that's the puzzle. You just got to drag this one all the way across. And hippity hop, we're up on top now. All right, into a little warehouse area. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Okay, Mr. Ducky. I like how it bounces and makes noise into the shadows there. All right, we'll continue on. We got some sound paddling here. Anything else? No? Okay. And we can't bring Mr. Ducky with, sadly. All right, let's see. Fire extinguisher here. We got that one. Perfect. Uh, ooh, these, uh, these break apart, huh? So let's see if we can just maybe not hop on that. Uh, do we gotta like stack these up, I guess? I wonder if, oh, I could probably make like a ramp. Let's do that. Whoa. Nope, I want you to go, kind of go like this. There we go, now we should be able to kind of run up that. Uh, anything underneath? Nope, nothing underneath those. We did all that. All right, let's go ahead and head up here. Hoppity hop. So while we're going through this level, as always, don't forget to comment on down below, really on anything you want to comment about, uh, who you are, where you're from, what you think of my videos. If you think they're complete garbage, please tell me. If you think they're great, let me know what I can do to make them better. Always here for some feedback. Whoa! That thing just broke apart, huh? All right, so we should only really need one. And then we should, nope, we can't make that jump quite yet. All right, and let's put that there, and then we'll take another one and put that there. And here we go. All right, up here now. Can we go through the private door? No. Can we go through any doors in this game? I feel like I've tried so many doors, and I don't know why I keep trying. Because one day it'll work. All right, uh, let's see what this cube's gonna do. All right, opens into a shaft, and we will be jumping down in a second. I don't wanna quite jump down yet. Let's just explore all this. Nothing over here, nothing over there. Huh. Can't interact with any of that. Can I interact with any of that? Nope, looks like we're uh, jumping through. Here we go, Wee! Uh, getting a little vertigo. Oh, okay, and we broke out of a box at what looks like the initial start. Yeah, can I interact with any of that? Nope, that door's now been closed and we can't, can't hop up there. So let's go back this way here. There's that elevator. Get that fire alarm switch there. Okay, nothing behind the door. What's this? Electrical voltage. Nope, we don't want to touch that. 
There's the elevator opening for us. Testers, Jonas Dawson, Arthur Willis, Jojo Smith, Bart Blygon, Blygov, Bigov. I can't quite read that. Uh, people only dream of ordinary objects. Boring. Dream layers of the mind. Uh, expectations and emotions. Is that what that's trying to say? Highly affects dreams. Testers so far. Hmm. Okay. And we'll get that fire extinguisher here and we'll hop in the elevator and see where the elevator takes us. Are we feeling lucky? So are we. Uh, something casino and amusements. And I think that's the end of the cubism level. Let's see here. I think we're loading in. And yes, we are. It should be 5 a.m. It is 5 a.m., so I'm going to go ahead and turn that alarm off. Thank you so much for coming out and enjoying this Tooth and Scrubs video here in Superliminal. I appreciate all the time, the effort, the likes, the comments, the views, everything you guys are doing. Keep it up, and I keep, promise to keep it up on my end as well. And we'll see you in the next video. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me in Superliminal. We are checking the level called Blackout. Now, if you haven't watched any of the previous videos in the series, go back and check that out. Part of the game is you got to use all the extinguishers and hit all the fire alarms, but we're in this dream world. Go back and check out the previous three episodes. Jump off now before you uh, get any spoilers here. And we're going to go ahead and click on this boom box to get the level going here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Okay, so the sun is supposedly shining, but things are going wrong. Let's go ahead and start the level here in this very creepy long hallway, kind of like a warehouse. We'll just keep clicking on these fire extinguishers here. We've got two more coming up. It looks like there's one by every door. I don't know what happened. Ooh, are we in a horror game? What do we got over here? There's like a... Oh. Okay. Um, things got dark, literally. This is very horror-esque. I'm going to skip the fire extinguishers for now, and we're going to get the heck out of Dodge. I can come back and do that later. Um, yeah, I didn't realize we were playing a horror game. All right, let's get through this door here. Road closed. Um, nothing hiding in the back corner. No monster is going to jump out at us. What's with the flashing lights? I, I, I just don't need that in my life right now. Uh, okay. In the down the creepy hallway, more flashing lights that just fix themselves and... We lost our door back here? Yeah, we lost our door back here. Okay. I guess onwards we go. Into some freezer spaces here. Through the creepy, like, butcher things. All right. Um, and what do we got over here? We've got, uh, okay, quite a bit of blood on the ground going in through a door. Oh, there's a handprint. Very nice. Can I? Get, nope. Okay. That just slammed on us. We're going to get attacked by some ghosts here soon. Let's move these big old uh, gas containers out of the way. Oh, that one just fell. Uh, can we get through this door? No. Nothing over here either. Uh, all right, we'll jump the table. Looks like we're heading this way. And through this door here. All right, what do we got down here? Okay, mm that door just closed on us too. Very nice. Uh, okay, a little square room at the end of the hallway. Nothing crazy. Ooh, we got the menu for the week. Murder, 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 beans on Sunday. Okay, I can I can live with that. I do like me some beans. Um, very tall room, but the light doesn't go all the way down. Um, let's see if there's anything in the dark here. We're just going to kind of back our way into it. And uh, Oh, wait, there is. Okay, nice. So it looks like we're in another hallway that was hidden, obscured in the dark. We've got some plants at the end. Nothing down here. All right, let's go down here here and we'll go through this door if you've been enjoying these super liminal videos don't forget to like it um die 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 uh don't forget to like the video and subscribe to tooth and scrubs gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion i'd appreciate it i appreciate all the hard work you guys have been doing the likes the subscribes coming here getting those view hours in for me i appreciate you it and i appreciate you up oh, that door just closed on me as well okay and we got more blood coming down the hallway Nice. All right. Um, what do we got through here? A very dark. Whoop. Wow. Wow. We just fell to our death. And we're back. All right. So there's probably a way. Do we have to like go to the right here? Uh, 
We are up against the wall. I don't think I can do that. All right, let's check this side over here. Um, oh, wait, there's a, a plank right there. Okay, nothing all the way against the wall. Uh, and we can go, looks like right or left. Let's go right. And we're just going to keep looking down and following the planks. And we're going to, oh, that's the end. I wonder if we can make the jump. Let's see if we can make this jump. Nope. Okay, so there's got to be another way around. Uh, all right, let's go back to the left here. All right, across the planks to the left. Okay, and extends this. Oh, very nice. Okay, so we had to do that initially. All right, and down the hallway we go with more blood. I guess we're just following some creepy monster. Got another boombox here to play. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. Mm, more blood. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. <laughs> I don't know. When I rounded this corner, I thought that was a person there coming through the little window. But really, it's just a pawn with some light behind it. We got a chessboard back here. Seems to be quite the theme in this game. Or blood, nice. Um, a lot of chess pieces. All right, into the freezer space again with even more blood. Nice, and that door just closed on us. Uh, I'm guessing we go down this dark, scary hallway. Let's see, let's back into it so at least we can see the light. Yeah, there's another chess piece there. Um, no, it looks like there's something to our right. Uh, oh, there's an arrow. Okay, pointing to our right. So I'm guessing we go up these stairs, keep using the light as our guide. And here we go. We're on some sort of catwalk, and there's the door we're going to. Follow the lights down here, through here. Ooh, a fire extinguisher. We can actually get this one. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Okay, we can't remove the planks, but usually up, yep, we can grab these signs. Okay, so we can use this as a light source, it looks like. Let's make this a little bit bigger here. Alright, and let's use this as our flashlight, see if we can find anything. Uh, that thing's just flapping in the breeze, literally. All right, let's go back this way. I don't see anything over here, nothing over here. Um, nothing down this spooky hallway. Can't go through there. Wait, what? Oh, tricky, tricky. That's actually really good. Okay, down this hallway into this creepy box fort layer thing. Uh, all right, looks like we're going up. here don't turn around okay well yeah I guess we keep going this way anything up top nope all right even spookier I didn't know this was a horror game I guess it is and we're dropping our sign here all right we're going towards the emergency generator let's get ourselves some uh, we'll get some baking soda this time and we'll put it in the recycling can uh, environment saved nice got a nice little achievement there uh, all right, uh, we can't take our sign through, but let's shine the light in here. Let's make this bigger so we actually get some light. Drop that one more time. Boom. Okay, looks like we're climbing those boxes. Can we get under this? Yeah, we can get under this. Nice. And there's more blood on the ground there. Diet soda. Smooth. All right. Um, I guess let's see if behind this door. Nope. Big old thing of bricks. So up we go. Oops, didn't make that jump there. Nice and dark. Anything on the sides? No, we got, looks like a chair. No, a knife. Knife and a light. Ooh. I thought I saw something on the corner of my eye. Did you know that multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. All right, a lot more blood on the ground here. And we got the word idea. Let's see idea. Oh, we can interact with it. Oh, nice. Okay, we're in some sort of kitchen. Oh, it's not blood, it's paint. Ah, they tricked us. They tricked us. Some paint brushes. I like the music. Can we interact with any of this stuff? Nothing over here. Oh, the doors are closed down there. 
Wait. No, 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 no. We're not. Oh, we got to follow that guy. Okay. Let's see what happens. We're going to chase the pawn or whatever. That was at a bishop. <sighs> this game, because, you know, it just stuck its head out right there. Guessing that's what the don't turn around was hinting at on those boxes. We'll continue this way. Oh, there he is. But see, I can't interact with him. What the heck? All right, down here. Uh, let's check this door over here. Nope. Okay. Well, while we're chasing this, down in the comments below, let me know what you think's going on. This game's a, little, a lot trippy. Not just a little, a lot trippy. Got chess pieces poking out around corners. Falling down never-ending loops of... Not death, but I don't know, moving around. Yeah, there's that sign, don't turn around. Oh, it's on quite a few boxes. Let's see, where else? Probably not. That, mm. so We're just gonna cheap, keep chasing this guy to wherever. Uh, okay, let's be lazy, we're just gonna jump down. And he's gonna open that door for us, how nice of him. But he opened it in reverse. Anyways, still chasing him. Down the creepy hallway we go. So this is where we originally saw him on the other side, and he moved his little stool. Did he move any of the pieces? No, I can't tell. I don't think so. Still following the red paint blood on the ground here. Uh, there's the hole we fell down originally. Let's see what we got. There's the boom box. It's nice and bright in here now. There he... What? No, don't fall! Dude! Um, I guess, well, this changed. So I'm guessing we go down this way. All right, let's see what happens. Whee! Oh, this is a long fall. Um, okay, there's a door over there with a table and a box. No. What is it saying? Well, I don't know what it's saying, and I can't interact with it. And it looks like we got the, the same photo in all these photo frames, so let's just go this way. Uh, all right, we got a boom box here. Door opening. Door opening. Okay, let's go down here. Let's see what's happening. Hallway with even more of the same photos. Wait, are we in a loop? Yeah, we're in a loop. Ah, this game. Okay, we already did that boom... Okay, I'm guessing this is the door that opened. Let's go this way. Follow this hall. Let's see. Nothing crazy here. And we got a, a control room with a big red button. There's the pawn there. I don't want to, like, run in there. Looks like he's been following us the whole time. Oh, he turned around. What happened? No. That's not the end of the game, is it? That can't be the end of the game. Well, that was interesting. I like all the dogs. The pretty dogs. I want a dog one day. Once I'm older, more stabilized. <laughs> All right, Albert. Shh. What a game. Or wait, hold on. Oh, that is his actual name. I thought that was like a play on shh. Art director. Uh, okay. That's so. I guess the main menu tricks you because I thought there was like ten levels in total, but I guess that's the end of the game. Seems kind of short, but very, very interesting. Glad we played that. Um, I don't know. I feel like that's not the ending we're supposed to find. Because now it's looping the, the pictures on the, the left again. Because we've already seen that dog a couple times. I suspect this is not the ending. I think this is a fake out. It wouldn't surprise me if a game like this. Voice actor Max Horath. If he was the doc, that's a... I like his voice. Good voice. All right, so let's let's make it to the end here and let's see if like it it was a trick or something like that cuz I I suspect it was a trick. It was a trick. Okay, so I clicked out. We finished up the 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 end titles there and now we're when I click continue, we are back here. Okay, so last time we went and followed the chess piece. Let's see if it see if we can trigger it again. It doesn't look like it. Okay. So we're still back here in blackout. We just turned the generator on. We're going to go that way now, and let's see if we can actually find the real end of the episode. Or the level, I guess. All the windows are open up there. What a tricky, 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 tricky game. Alright, what's this say here? Projection. 
Uh, yeah, these are all things we've used before. Okay, there's our elevator, so there's the actual end of the level. Let's head down this way. We got some avocado stuff. Promotes heart health, anti-cancer, blood sugar regulation, potassium, anti-inflammatory, need, cloning. Biggest question is the real one. Order longer, freeze, or flaps. Oh, <laughs> we went through a bunch of those. Self-doubt and worthlessness. Get this fire extinguisher here, and we're going to hop inside the elevator to enjoy ourselves some nice avocados. What the... Okay, I'm guessing that was the actual end of the episode. Let's see here. Our loading bar can't quite make it up. Pushes all the way through. Still going and going. And there we go. Now it's fading. And okay, the sound of the alarm clock at 6 a.m. indicates we finally finished that blackout episode. Thank you so much for coming and enjoying this Tooth and Scrubs video with me. And I'll see you in the next one. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me here today in Superliminal. We are checking out episode number five, level number five, called Clone. And as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of our alarm clocks cloned here. So let's go ahead and continue on. If you have never checked out any of these episodes, one, what are you doing? Go back, check them out on my channel so you don't get any spoilers here in the episode as we move forward give you a few seconds to jump off the video if you have seen all the other episodes thank you so much i appreciate that just a quick recap we are in som the sculpt we've been in this dream state working our way through all these levels and dr glenn pierce and a, a very lovely sounding assistant have been helping us through the situation so far here and every episode other than the first episode or the first level is kind of started in this office space over there uh, and each time we kind of turn that corner, we never know what we're going to get. Let's go ahead and get this door, very big door I just made, out of our way. And continue on down the hallway here. Alright, employees only. I think we need to do... Oh, okay, I can't pick that up. And this one's... Can we undo the bolts? Nope. So those are both bolted down. Anything on the ceiling we can grab? Let's go back and get the door. I bet you the door is what we're supposed to use. So let's head back down the hall. We'll pick that up. So as we're kind of starting through these first puzzles, you know, comment on down below. Let me know what you think's going on. If you've been enjoying this type of game, this type of series. Um, probably need to get that to fall there. There we go. Onto the switch just like that. If you've been enjoying this series, a little bit different than some of the other games we've played. So let me know. All right. We got our alarm here. Let's turn that off. And it's switching us to another music station here couple different uh, sounds we got on five kind of like a elevator music type thing like a R&B smooth jazz big band sort of big band all right and then let's just go ahead and take that back to one to our, our normal music we've been listening to all this level all right, let's try this door here. Ah, we're just gonna clone that door, huh? And it looks like every time we clone it, it just gets smaller and smaller. And it, let's see how small we can get it here. It's gotta eventually stop, right? No, we're, wow, this is getting hard. All right, smaller and smaller, there we go. All right, I think, I think that's about maxed out or minimumed out. Ooh, and we can climb all that. Nice, okay. So let's head back this way. Can we grab any of these signs? Nope, can't grab any of those. And let's see if this door will move for us. No, it won't. Um, hmm. Let's see. I don't think we're going that way at all. Is there anything in like this pipe? Oh no, we're gonna go over the door. Okay, so let's just see if we can hop on this and then hop onto the lights and then we'll jump down. Okay, very nice. Uh, we got some clouds we're gonna jump into? Nope, okay, just a painting. Tricky, tricky. Attention, Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways and other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Okay, so, again, this level is clone, and now we got our three alarm clocks, but if I right-click, it goes back to one. 
Uh, so we gotta get up there. Something is... Oh, because it's bigger now. Alright, let's just get up there. Let's see if we can hop this. Probably not. Nope, not quite. Alright, and then let's make that a little bigger. And... Oh, I probably... Hold on. Since we can't just grab it, let's bring those back like that. Alright, and then back that up. Make that nice and big. Didn't land the way I wanted it to land, but that's okay. Alright, let's make these bigger here. Andrew, come on. I can make things smaller pretty easy, but bigger I always mess up with. Alright, we'll drop that down. And let's make this bigger. Start all the way like this. That didn't do what I want. Man, I stink at this. Alright, and we'll just make that bigger. Nope, it's gonna fall down. I promise I know what I'm doing sometimes, guys. Maybe not all the time, but sometimes I know what I'm doing. Alright, let's see if we can make this climb. Probably, probably not. No, okay, let's try this again. Alright, bring those all back just like that. Alright, and then we're gonna start small, make it big, start small, make it a little bit bigger, and then start small, make it a little bit bigger here. Let's put that there. Okay, I think we should be able to do this now. Here we go. Hop, hop, hop. And just like that, through the door. Okay. Ooh, and our clicker changed. We got a, a smiley face now. See that? Uh, let's get on some light here. There we go. A little smiley face there for our clicker instead of the standard yellow, or excuse me, white circle. All right, let's keep going this way for Dr. Pierce. Now we got an apple. Uh, right click to return. Okay, so we can't can't just move the apple, huh? Um, is there another sensor or pad? No. Nothing in the ceiling. Um, can we push this? I wonder if we did... Let's do this. See if that'll push it off. There we go. Nope. Okay, that's just gonna do that. And then perfect. All right. Easy peasy. Another alarm clock here. We could change our music. There, we'll go to channel two there. I like that. That smooth jazz. All right, so now we're in a big room. We've got a big fan over there on the left side, and what do we, what do we got over here? Is this a pit of sorts? Yeah, let's see where it takes us. Right back here, of course. All right, and then we'll go up and check out these stairs. God, that fan is loud. Oof. All right, let's check this out. I'm assuming there's gonna be a door or a switch or some sort, and we'll have to get this apple up here. Yeah, there's the door. Here's the button. Hmm. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. So we can clone the apple, but it does get smaller each time, so we can't just keep cloning it like that. What? Okay, so can we bring it across like this? No, because it's going to get hit by the fan. Okay, the fan's shooting those away. Um, can I push it? Maybe like one of the smaller ones? No, we can't really push it. Um, let's clean this up. What if we did... Oh, we can't grab it, that's right. Um, I wonder if we just go like really, really quick. Let's try this and see if we can just... Maybe we gotta go farther away from the fan. Here we go, we'll start with one of these that are kinda rolling. Come on, stay with me, apples. Nope, that fan's even blowing it down here. Okay, let's clean that up. Um, oh, what if we grab it from up top? Because it kinda spawns right around us, so maybe we just gotta grab it from up here. So if we just go, let's say, here, oh! Easy peasy. Puzzles, gotta love them. All right, through this door here before our apple rolls off or gets blown away by the fan. Warning, Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Good to know. Glad they were open and forward with us. I'm the sculpt. Gallery. All right, so we can grab the sign. Um, but how do we... 
How do we get up there? Do we have to, ah, there we go, okay. Just like the apple, so let's go like here maybe? There we go, something like that. Nope, stay up. I don't think that's gonna be high enough for us to jump. Huh. Nope, can't do that either. Um, all right, let's clean that up. And then like there, and then maybe a ramp. Clean that up again. Come on, work with me. No, it just keeps wanting to bounce. I need it to, what if we did something like this? This is gonna seem stupid, but nope, I accidentally right clicked on that. All right, and then drop that like that. Okay, let's see if that's enough. There we go. All right, we can clean that up now. Back into the clouds, JK, just into a little room here. Got an electric panel back there. If you guys have been enjoying this content here for uh, Super Liminal, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to get all this great content on time and in orderly fashion. I would appreciate it. Attention. And I want you Dr. guys to get Pierce the best. continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. <laughs> I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Thanks, Doc. Ah, okay, so we got our sign there that we can work with. We can't move it. Again, this is the cloning episode. Um, so let's go down here. Got ourselves a radio. Hello, name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And buts, no ifs, or look good. Okay, thank you, Dr. Glenn Pierce, or Pierce Dr. Glenn. Very interesting uh, spelling and grammatical states. He's, mistakes he's been adding to the game here. All right, and oh, here's the end of the episode. There's the elevator. Let's see what we got. Uh, Jay, what if I forget to set the alarm? Beep, 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 beep. 208 AM, PM, emergency exit protocol. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in the elevator here. And that is the end of the clone episode. I like some of those puzzles there. I think the apple was good with the fan because you kind of had to think your way through that, get up there and drop it right on the platform. And it wasn't like you could just pick the apple up and carry that. So I, I enjoyed that. Except we got this alarm chirping, us, chirping at us here. Now, see, at least it's a reasonable time to get up, 7 a.m. So like I said earlier, if you guys have enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. I really appreciate you guys coming out, all the likes, the... The watch time, the comments, the views, everything you've been doing. Thank you so much. Keep it up, and we'll see you in the next one. Ah, listen to that alarm ring. You guys know what sound that means, and we are back here in Superliminal checking out the episode Dollhouse. So let's go ahead and turn that alarm off. As we progress, thank you so much for coming out and checking out this Tooth and Scrubs video. I know you guys have been loving these Superliminal videos. It's an exciting puzzle-building game or puzzle-solving game, I guess. And we got a different start this time. We're not going straight out into the office like we normally do. Looks like we're heading into, what is this, like a, oh, we got a movie theater, okay. A little in-home movie theater, in-office movie theater with some clouds playing in the background. Let's go ahead and, uh, looks like we can go down this way. And we got some, like some nice soothing music in the background. Is that what that is? All right, and we got a water fountain with a, about us. Hello, I am Dr. Glenn Pierce. Ah, we love that voice. Um, some the sculpt, blah, 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 blah. Well, if you guys want to read that, you can pause the video. Uh, we don't need to stop and read that. That sounds like a bunch of nothing. Anyways, let's head in here into our little movie theater room. Nice, relaxing clouds. Anything behind the chair? Nope, nothing. Can't pick up anything here. All right, let's head out this door. Oop. Guess the clouds aren't always running. And we got our first message from Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. All right, thanks, Doc. And it looks like we are coming back into the office that we know and love here in Superliminal. Got a little chess game going on the computer, but we can't interact with it. And we've got our soda machine. What soda? Let's pick random soda today. 
And what did we get? I can't quite read it. Let's bring it over here. And it literally is a random soda. All right, and we'll put that in the trash can like we normally do. There we go, now it's in the trash can, perfect. And out of the office we go, and it looks like we're we're hopping down here first. Yeah, all right, nice long fall. I like the fall sound effect, that whoosh, the wind whooshing, whooshing around you. And um, yeah, just like the episode name is Dollhouse, can we interact with it? Yes, and it looks like there's our door. So we gotta make ourselves a nice big dollhouse there to walk through. Let's make it really big, maybe too big. Wow, this is huge. I think I already, yep, got that fire extinguisher there, perfect. And can we make this jump? No, I bet you, how do we get across? I bet you have to make the dollhouse small, but not so small we can't go through the door. So let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and make this smaller, probably about this size. Yeah, there we go. Now we should be able to jump up there. Very nice. And jump up we do, and we'll grab that fire alarm switch there. Nothing we can interact here, but we got another vending machine. We took random last time, we'll take baking, and it sounds like the machine's broken, so nothing for us this time. What a shame. All right, we've got a door over here, but we are way too big to get into it. Uh, anything else we can interact with? Not that I see, but we have, didn't we just, oh, we got the dollhouse again. So we could probably change the size of the dollhouse. So we need to get, if we need to get through that door, we need this to be big so we become small, right? Yeah, there we go. Now let's see if we're small enough to make it through that door. Uh, how do we, how are we gonna get, oh, we can climb up the, the furniture here, or the suitcases here. Boom, boom, and one more, up there we go, and through the door we make it. And we got a uh, another stereo, but I think we can interact with it, yeah. So no message from Doc this time. Hopefully we get another message from him here soon because we do love hearing from him. Nothing behind the door. All right, and so let's go ahead and go through this. We got a TV here that's just static, kind of like what we saw in the, the movie room to start. Ah, here we go. What's Doc got to say this time? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. All right, it sounds like we're receiving this message in error. What do we got down here? Another box, nothing in this door. Nope, we're good there. So let's go ahead and, well, that TV's unplugged and is causing this to spark interesting i don't think that's how it happens but i am not an electrical engineer by any sorts uh, okay we got that light moving for no particular reason can we climb back here nope nothing back here uh, but we have this door over here we can go through oh we got a jenga tower look at that with a door up there so can we can we like climb or push on the blocks no what do we got in the rest of the room here? Nothing so far that we can interact with. Well, while I'm wandering around this room, if you guys have been enjoying this content, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. And if you don't mind, uh, leave me a comment on down below who you are, where you're from, what's going on. It's Memorial Day weekend here in the United States. If you got any big plans, go ahead and share those. Uh, hopefully you're getting out and not just watching my YouTube videos. Enjoy the, the sunshine. It is, I'm looking out my window here. It looks like a nice day outside. So once I finish this up, I think I'm going to hit up the gym and uh, then go for a nice walk outside. Ah, can we move the fan? We can move the fan. Making a very nice noise. Let's see, can we make it big enough to maybe blow the blocks over? All right, we just got to spin it here. Spin that right there, we'll drop that, and there it goes. It pushes the Jenga blocks over, and we can hop over and get in through that door. Even though they're all the way over here now. Hopefully the blocks didn't block the door. Nope, we should be good there. And uh, yeah, here we go. All right, made it through the Jenga blocks. Uh, what do we got? We got some windows that look out into hallways. Nothing we can do there. Nothing in the cleaning cart. 
Let's see, nothing there. Oh, we can interact with this. Oh, we can interact with this window. Okay, I wonder, yeah, we can make it big enough and go through there. Uh, let's check out everything else, make sure we're not missing anything. That door won't open either. Okay, so my guess is we have to hop through this window here and we're gonna be the super small person now, uh, but that's okay. All right, and we, oh, and we got a super small door to go through. Can we interact with the suitcase and the trash can? Nope, anything behind this? Nope, all right, so let's go ahead and head through that door and see what our next puzzle is here in Superliminal. Looks like we're heading into a locker room and we got a thermostat we can't mess with. Speaking of the gym, be here very soon. All right, let's go ahead and see what Doc has to say. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Oh, interesting. So we're kind of, uh, kind of rotating here. Can I hop? I can't quite hop up there. Okay, I wonder if we're not supposed to go up there, but that's cool. Yeah, nice. Okay, let's keep heading through the locker room. Can't interact with the towels or anything, can we? Nope, nothing there. Looks like we're going out into a pool area. Ah, it is an empty pool. Um, interesting doorway there. Um... And we need to get through here, so we can make this bigger, it looks like. Can I go anywhere else? Nope, not that I can see. So, oops, we gotta make this even bigger now. Still don't think that's big enough. Let's try that, there we go. All right, and through the door we go. And where are we at? We are in some sort of utility room. Keep out. Looks like we're going through this vent here. And we're looking out over the pool area. And there's the door it looks like we got to get to. Can we can we do something like... No, we don't want that now. We want that. There we go. Now we should be able to hop right out the door. And let's see here. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Okay. Um, there we go. Just like that. Perfect. But can we... Is there anything else we need to like look at? I'm just going to go ahead and make this a touch smaller so we can move around. So there's the vent we were looking through. We could dive down, but we don't want to do that because I don't think we could get back up here. Okay, back this way we go. Very nice indeed. I like the music. Very, very soft, soothing. Doc's got another message. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations! Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. All right, 823. We must have set some sort of record. Can we mess with this piano? Yes, we can, but we're not very good. Okay, let's, uh, anything else we can mess around with? Nope, all right, go through this door here. And we're in a, a fairly sizable room. So this is the door we came out of. We got this small door and it looks like we gotta probably get through there. So if we go through this door now, okay, now we're kind of on the smaller side of things. So if we need to get big enough to reach that, how would we do this? We need to make this bigger, right? And then we need to go through this door. So now we're big and we can almost see through the keyhole. Oh, there's like a chest set out there. See that? Look at that. Do one more jump there. There we go. Um, okay, so I need to now to make this one bigger than that. Um, there we go. One more time here, hopefully. Make this really big. Not quite bigger than that one yet. All right, make that bigger there. There we go. Okay, so let's go through this door. Whoa! Uh, I don't think that was supposed to happen, but it did. Um, I wonder, oh wait, hold on. Let's take this 
and can we let's make it small can I put it up here uh, I don't know where it went but it went through the keyhole can we see through the okay we're through nice um, where's the keyhole at is it up here somehow oh there's the keyhole okay so it got shot all the way through I don't know if that's what we were supposed to do but that's that's what we did we're now here on the chess set um, I like the theme of the chest in this game the, the the pawn or whatever that was or was it a bishop that was following us around the last episode and we had to chase him backwards that was a pretty cool idea let's go around here and see is this like some sort of box like a memory box maybe um, I don't think we want to fall off the chest set here all right, what do we got back here? Yeah, the hinges of the box are back here. Uh, and we got a dollhouse over there, it looks like, again, what we can interact with. Uh, and we're in some a little room here. Okay, so let's just, uh, here we go. Instead of going all the way across, we'll bring the dollhouse over. Let's see if we can make it big enough for ourselves here to just walk right through that door. Perfect, and we are, looks like we're at the end of the level here on Dollhouse. Okay, I like that, the change in your sizes and things like that to, to get where you need to go. All right, uh, five to six dreams is the absolute limit. We've already kind of talked about that. Dr. Glenn Pierce has said that a couple times to us. Uh, we have a fire alarm switch here we need to grab. We'll go ahead and grab that. And let's hop in the elevator and end the episode thank you so much for coming out and watching this tooth and scrubs video here in super liminal i know you guys have been enjoying it so if you have don't forget to like subscribe to the channel so you get all this great content on time in an early fashion and if you don't mind maybe share it with a, a friend or two and say hey you know you might like this it's how we grow the channel we had ourselves a nice little spike uh in subscribers i think we hit like 341 subscribers at the time of this recording so i'm pretty happy with that as this alarm is going off in the background at 3 a.m. and we used to be at like 6 or 7 a.m. so I don't know what that means. So you'll have to come back and find out why it's 3 a.m. here in Superliminal. Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming and thank you so much for joining me here today in Superliminal. We will be checking out the episode entitled Labyrinth. That's right, we got a brand new episode here for you. I know it's been a while. Uh, today is Labor Day Monday in the year 2023. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnascult experience in 10, 9, 8, error, error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. All right, so it looks like we're trying to escape the Somnascult uh, dream state, but we haven't been able to do it. If you haven't checked out any of the previous episodes, I highly recommend it. Go check them out. This has been a fantastic game, uh, kind of interesting puzzle game. Uh, you solve the levels. A little bit of a story going on. Uh, we're a guy that was watching some late night TV, and we, we came here, and now we've been stuck in the game for a while. I don't know why, but I decided to jump on top of these door frames. Anyways, got a, a, a glowing window there, too. Uh, again, go back and check those out. You might learn what this error is or why this might complete. be here. Uh, let me know if you know it. Consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. All right, so we're a very fearful person. Nothing back here. All right, let's hop back across. Can we grab that sign? Nope. Okay. So as you guys know, uh, you got to explore the levels pretty well because there's usually some hidden things uh, that you got to find. So I'm just taking my time and looking in every nook, cranny, things like that. Since it's been a while, why don't you leave me a comment on down below what's been going on in your life. Uh, I've had an interesting couple of months. Let's see, I think my last episode was Father's Day. So that's what, June? So it's been June, July, August uh, into September now. Uh, what have I done since then? I um, just got back from a trip from Seattle. I was supposed to climb Mount Rainier with some friends and my brother, uh, but the weather was a little too warm, and we had to cancel that climb, or the company, guide company we were using had to cancel the climb. Uh, we can't make it up anywhere past that. Uh, what else have I done in that time? Honestly, not that much. Just been busy at work, uh, enjoying the little things. Started doing yoga with another friend. 
a uh, little hot yoga, a little uh, vinyasa. Uh, and what else have I been doing? I think that's been about it. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. I guess we don't Impossible. have a conclusion. Oh, there it is. Reformulating. Anyways, like I said, leave me a comment on down below what you've been doing in life, uh, what you've been enjoying over these last few months in the summer. Hopefully as winter and the fall starts to roll around, I think I got most of my traveling done. Um, I think I go to D.C. here in two weekends. Uh, hopefully I start getting back into the video making experience here and can start making some new videos for you guys. And I, I got a couple I really want to do. going to finish up uh, Super Liminal here. I think there's two episodes left after this one. Um, so we'll be wrapping up Super Liminal soon. Uh, I think the next one I want to play... Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. So the next one I think I want to play is called uh, the book thief. Continue with somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis, as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Goodbye. And we're back to our lovely alarm clock here. So let's go ahead and turn that off and back into our room. All right, let's head out into the office. Hopefully, it's the office and isn't something crazy. Nope, we got our our good old office here. We'll swing out through this door, get ourselves a, a pop. Nope, and back to this. All right, um, let's see if we can do this. I wonder if it's gonna keep rubber banding us. Yep, there's the alarm. It's getting a little quicker now. Do that again here. Wow, we didn't even make it to the corner. And turn back, boom. All right, and into darkness. Whoa, okay. Uh, we got a inversion of gravity here. Let's uh, turn that off, then pop down through here. And what do we got? Nice little, um, like a setup, like uh, someone was making a movie or something or a TV show. This is where you'd have everything. All the actors and whatnot would come and hang out, have a uh, lunch, maybe dinner if it's late enough. Let's go turn this alarm off. Jumping across everything here and it warped us back to the bedroom. Very nice. Uh, okay, that's no longer the gate. Let's see. This looks a little red. Nope, we're at the end of the hallway here. Um, Got to be missing something. Um, the alarm. Nothing. Um, bu 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 oh, okay. We can grab this painting. Let's make this a touch bigger. See if we can now hop through there. Nope, make that even bigger. And bigger yet again. All right, still not letting me quite fall through it. It's getting rather annoying. All right, let's see, can we go through now? There we go, nice. Ah, there's a fire alarm there, we'll grab that. All right, anything behind the door? Nothing behind the door. And we got Dr. Pierce here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. All right, it seems like we're getting to the labyrinth section now. We got our, oop, wow, okay, we're gonna fall all the way onto that guy. Um, okay, cool. And we'll get ourselves a pop fall out there, and there it goes. And we'll fall down here again. Ugh. Uh, bu 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 okay, there's an exit door there. Can we, we can't grab the exit door, but it fell. Can we grab the sign? No, but we can grab that door. And, oh, okay, here we go. Got ourselves a hatch to fall through. Down in here. Very nice. Um, I'm guessing we just pop through here. We do. And there's a crack in the window or the painting there. And we'll hop through that. And another pierce. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. All right, thank you, Dr. Pierce. Let's see, we got one of those paintings we probably have to line up. Um, uh, maybe like, uh, 
like right. I gotta back up a little bit more. Almost there. Why? Is, oh, whoa. Okay, now we're going for a nice fall. Okay. Um, got some stairs down here, and I'm guessing we're going right there. Whoa. Um, and the floor is now falling, and we're going with. Uh, we seem to be still alive. Um, okay. Did not did not expect that. Uh, we got some chairs we can move. Um, there's the door to the elevator. Let's get out of this mess. All right, almost through. Move that over there, nice. And into the elevator we go. Whew, okay, that was fun, that was exciting. Uh, exit temporarily moved, that does me no good, but we can go out the back side of the elevator. Uh, okay, um, hall one, go left. All right, now we're going right. Um, perception is not reality, no trespassing, stop, dead end. Guess we're just gonna go this way then. And a buzz, but we're back to hall one. That other one had said hall two. Okay, so dead end. Back this way, and it buzzed. So, and then it's gonna buzz. Let's see, hold on, there's a pattern here. Okay, so we have to look, I think, the opposite way of the sign. So dead end, this way. Let's see if we get the nice ding. Nice, okay, so look the opposite way of the sign, see the dead end, go this way, ding. All right, look the opposite way of the sign, dead end, very nice. Through this door, we should get a ding. All right, look the opposite way of the sign, dead end. And now we're gonna come this way. What a very interesting mechanic, I like it. Opposite way of the sign here as we round into hall five. And then we should get a ding and very nice. Uh, this feels like we're in, what's the third Batman movie? Where Bane and them are fighting underground and there's like that nuclear accelerator thing. Wow, this is loud. All right, um, okay, we're in a swimming pool. We got a large die. And okay, so I'm guessing we move the die to like here or jump up here up onto the water and then okay the die is now missing there it is it moved and it's got a smiley face there it's probably gonna like explode or something okay it didn't splash into the water that's nice of it um up to here we go okay nothing up there that i see all right let's go through our little castle here Get ourselves a let's get ourselves a water soda this time make that nice and big i don't know why nothing in the trash can we'll be a nice person and put it in the trash can there there we go all right and then we've got ourselves a yellow chess piece dr glenn finally while we respect the unique progress of every patient you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. All right, well, that just turned into some paint. Uh, okay, so we got that. We'll put that there, very nice, through that door. And do we need to grab that? Yep, we'll grab that, just in case we need that later. Got ourselves a little workbench here. Put him, um, make that big so we don't lose it. Uh, but apparently we just did lose it. Okay, it's back behind that table if we need it. All right, and then let's dive down through here, it looks like, yeah. Um, I'm gonna try and hit, nope, we didn't hit that, but we hit this pipe. Uh, let's see if we got anything back here. I see like a glow of a light. Nope, okay, we're gonna jump across. Nothing over there, that seems to be hidden. All right, so let's jump down here. Got that there. Let's go check this out just for funsies, see if we got something hiding in the back corner. We got a drawing on the ground. Uh, we got some asteroid looking things with some chess pieces and a water cooler on it. Very nice. All right, and then let's go over here. Here it is. Um, okay, and we switched rooms. Um, that elevator door is not working. Let's make that just a touch smaller and even a little smaller again. Hop on up here. All right, I feel like this is another puzzle. I'm guessing we don't just run over there. We're gonna not jump through that white line. 
My guess is that like white line teleports you. Nice, okay, so we made it through. Um, you know, for funsies, let's see what happens. Oh, I guess you can jump through. Oh, there's a wall. Maybe not, I don't know. What? Um, okay, I guess there is no. See, but now I can't. You just have to like, can I jump on the bed? Okay, I guess there was no puzzle there. I made a puzzle for myself to solve. All right, block, and that dropped us here. All right, black labyrinth. Let's, uh, let's go this way. See if there's anything back this way. No, okay. Forward we go. Run, run, run. Do, do, do. All right, take a right, fall down. And now we're over here. Okay, this is what we were originally trying to solve. Got an alarm clock here on this desk. Uh, what do we got up there? An open vent, open window, let's click that. And now we're in a sea of elevators. Perception is reality, guys. Um, all right, let's just start going this way. Through the, oop, we got an arrow there. Let's turn left. And we're just gonna keep running through this sea of elevators. We'll follow the arrows when we see them. Straight, nice, and through we make it. Cool. Another radio. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Whoa, that whole thing turned into a painting. Nice, okay. Apparently we're approaching a destabilizing dream weight. And let's get in here and ooh, we're outside in the parking lot now listen to the crickets um and the elevator's gone uh i don't see like a car or anything let's head towards the moon and i don't know maybe we'll find that turned into a painting too okay uh let's go this way maybe we'll find something and that just turned into a painting Okay, so we probably have to make a square, make a room here, and then we'll be able to do something. So this should turn into a painting any second here. Any second, and there it is, nice. Okay, so one more. Just gotta get this wall over here to turn into a painting. So if you've been enjoying this video, don't forget to like it. Like I said, leave a comment on down below what you've been doing this wonderful summer. And if you really wanna support Tooth & Scrubs Gaming, give me a subscribe, come on back got some good videos out here check out some of my older videos we're going to be making some more here soon as like i said get out of the summer months get a little less busy got some games other games i want to try playing things like that so if any of this is your speed like it subscribe to it and we'll be making more here soon all right back into our room we've been spawning in 3 a.m i suspect this is going to end the level i don't know let's find out and it did very nice so that was the labyrinth episode here in super liminal and uh i appreciate you guys coming out and enjoying this video here with me on tooth and scrubs gaming and we'll see you in the next one hello 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 everyone and welcome back to tooth and scrubs gaming and thank you so much for joining me today here in super liminal where we'll be checking out the episode white space so we spawned in we don't have an alarm clock going off it appears you have entered the sonascult's diagnostic framework Patients do not have access to this dream. All right, so I guess we're somewhere we're not supposed to be, but then again, that's what this entire game here in Super Liminal has been about. Uh, I guess we don't get our dream soda. What a shame. Uh, looks like we're in the office that we normally start in, but it's conception. Uh, and this is all closed off. We got a, a brick wall here, some, some music. Nice. Very nice. All right, let's go back into this room and check this out. Big old sign there with really nothing behind it. Uh, our bed, we can jump on our bed. There's an alarm clock, but it's not on. Uh, computer, can't, oops, stuck on that chair there. Uh, can't do any on that, can't do anything here. What do we got here? Paradox Behavior 101, AKA don't do it ever. Um, white space. Uh, what's this say over here? Reminder, call jungles management. Uh, music too dang loud, set of burning curry, shipment of food coming here, 
don't have space for more. Ask if they can hand out flyers for testing. Also ask uh, Ryzen Medical for increased canister order frequency. All right, and it looks like there's a line here. All right, what do we got here? A little, little model. And oh, we can grab, oh. We can grab this building here and let's, uh, let's drop that. It looks like we can get through this door. Uh, make this really big now. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state. state, state. All right, and there, there it is. So it looks like it's, it's looping. Um, jungles. There's the store. Looks like there might be a door there. Okay, so let's do this. Let's now we gotta make this small. I bet. Um, make this really small, and then we'll go. Oops, don't fall off. There we go. No, let's make that even smaller. Boom. Okay. Then we can probably go through this door over here and then through the door on the side of the building. Nice. Okay. Parking lot. There's the jungles. Should talk about up there. Uh, help wanted. Looks like you get a job here if you wanted to. Swing around the back here, see if there's anything. Um, all right. That elevator or this door here is open. Let's, let's go through here. Um, Oh, we're in the we're in the the restaurant. Can we play the piano? Not very well, but we can certainly play it. Uh, what do we got? Some more papers over here. Electric box can't do anything there. Crate, some stuff over here. No, okay, let's jump off the. What do we got over here? Fire extinguisher? No, or not fire extinguisher. Fire uh, alarm handle. Let's pop down here. See if we can. Some silverware, chest set, no. What are we supposed to do? Uh, reservation, I can't quite read that. Online purchase requisition. Uh, man, that's too small for me to read. Hopefully you guys can read that. Pause if you need to. Nothing over here, nothing over here. All right, let's go behind the bar. There's gotta be something here to do in the Jungles Bistro. We got some popcorn and apple. Nothing here yet. Yeah, we're just getting caught in everything. There's, oh, here's all your soda. That one's already been pulled. Big old knife, still nothing. Anyways, while I'm wandering around, oop, we got some music Diagnostic here. Diagnostic warning, warning, paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented, implemented. All right, so I guess there's nothing in here for us to do. Anyways, what I was about to say is uh, why I'm messing around trying to figure this out. Leave me a comment on down below. Tell me about your weekend. What happened? Do anything fun? Do anything exciting? Anything like that? Um, obviously, always looking for feedback on my videos, commentary, quality, anything like that. Let's go back through here and see if anything changes. No, we just got the, the thing over here. Um, so, yeah, we got that. I wonder if we can... Okay, let's take this through the door. Maybe we can. if we can take this into the... Ooh, that's a little trippy. See that? It's showing us. Yeah, you can see. You can see where it's at. All right, let's take this through the door. Oh. Okay, that's really trippy now. All right. Uh, I guess we're going through the portal. <laughs> All right. Let's hippity hop. Oh. Please paradox from creating any refrain. Explosive dream overload. Obey result. Overload. Sounds like the things from like War of the Worlds are coming to get us now. Uh, as our room disintegrates. What is going on here? What? All right, let's go through the portal. Um, that really didn't do much for us, huh? Everything's just getting bright white. Let's keep jumping through. Maybe one more jump. Ugh, that is bright. All right. And we are spawning in next to this tower thing. What do we got behind us? All right, so that must have been the doorway. Let's head over here towards this tower and see what uh see what type of trouble we can get in. Nothing back here. That just goes straight up. Can we go through here? No, nope, that's just a black wall. All right, in through here. Not an exit. Um, and it looks like there's a big old traffic cone over there. Um but we can't get to it. So the window's showing us that over there. Let's backtrack this way. Cause it says that's not an exit. And we got something over there. It's like an iceberg. No, those are water jugs. 
and chess pieces. Quite a bit going on. All right, let's keep going this way. Looks like the window's on here soon. Traffic cone. I wonder how long this will go for. I wish I had a sprint function. I right, just keep running. All right, we're invested. We're gonna see how far, how far down this path we can go. It looks like it's ending soon. Yeah, we got a couple more, couple more pillars, and we'll be at the end here. This is, this is really trippy. All right, let's see what happens. It's the end of the pillars. Oop, that all went white. Um, were we supposed to go this way? All right, let's go back this way. Let's see if it changes when we hop this way. It does. Okay. So I suspect we're not supposed to go this way. That feels feels off. Let's go back this way. Let's check out that exit sign. Because um, me thinks this is not where we're supposed to be at. There's not much over here to do. Again, this is I'm hitting shift. Like, like I should be able to sprint or something like that. But we can't. Hopefully you guys like the video for... Um, the, uh, the Book Walker, that was an interesting game. I really liked, um, so the last station, or the, was it the final station? The last station, the last station was made by that same developer and I really liked that game. So I'm excited to be playing the Book Walker with you guys. As always, leave some comments on that video or you can leave them on this video and let me know what you think about that game. And this is, we got this episode and we got one more episode for Superliminal. So this is gonna be wrapping up here pretty soon. Um, I'll be recording this one and then recording the last one soon after. Some big old white floor tiles there. All right, oh, there we go. Now we're falling, and there's a doorway right there. Ugh. Okay, that's... Okay, I guess we're just doing a lot of falling today. I see a black box. We can grab that black box here in a second. Let's see what's on the other side of it before we grab onto it. Looks like it's the wall. Okay, so we got to move that. And then looks like this is another doorway. We'll jump, see if we can make it. No, but we have a, a recording for us from, I'm assuming, Dr. Glenn Pierce. Let's see what he has to say. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to white space hmm all right and it looks like we got to follow these cones and then there appears to be a doorway doorway back there this is kind of reminding me of ocarina i think it's ocarina time when you go into the desert and you have to like follow the flags and if you don't follow the flags you you die or get lost in the desert Ooh. all right a nice thunderstorm here let's go towards this door now It's actually raining outside my uh, my apartment, so this is very fitting. All right, and then we'll pop through this door here, and the rain sounds immediately stop. Can't go through the gate there. But we got some rooms. We got erase me, relaxant, or relaxiant, minerals, female toads. Oop. We're just falling for days in this episode. Uh, nice square room here. Not an exit. Can I interact with that? No. Can we jump up here? Can't do that either. Some tables. Some papers that are all blank. Um, got a light here kind of illuminating. Uh, ooh, there it is. Okay, exit sign. This has got to be it, right? Ooh. Something just popped me up. I don't think that was supposed to happen. But there's our exit sign. Um, so we're just gonna walk down this way. Ah, nice, okay. Another exit sign here and a door. Uh, are we gonna fall? We're gonna find out. No, all right, into another hallway. So it looks like we're now looking back into that one room because you can, yeah, there is the roof, the pillars, the columns, what's over here? Kind of the same thing. All right, let's head this way. Still that tower shape thing. Yeah, all right, let's see what's on the other side of this. Nope, just the tower. Can we go up it? Looks like you can almost go up it. Let's check that out. Starts to curve up here in a few seconds. Nope, we got the 
end of the level. All right, back this way we go. While we're walking here, you could also leave me a comment. Any other games you guys are interested in me playing? Like I said, we're going to be wrapping up Super Liminal here soon. I got the Bookwalker. Always looking for a list of games to check out as we come into this museum-type room. Uh, all right, let's swing around this way. All right. So I, I'm I really enjoying this like use of white and black uh, positive and negative spaces. Let's, I guess, go through this way. There's our door, but it looks to be... Yeah, it looks like it might be up a little bit. We got another recording there. Uh, is there something? Okay, we can grab, we can grab that window. Okay, we're gonna put that window down, maybe here-ish. Here we go. And let's pop up here. Nice. Okay, Glenn, what do you got for us? But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine, because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried. I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. All right, so we already saw this cone, right? When we were looking through those windows. It looks like we've got a light switch and what is this back here? A broken chess piece, I would imagine, some pallets. Uh, what do we got, what do we got? Little, little area, not seeing anything over here. Let's pop down here. Nothing on the back side of it. Hmm. Um, maybe the light switch? Maybe we gotta interact with the light switch. Let's go back there. Uh, that's all. Yep, okay. Let's turn this on or off. I guess off. Ooh. Darkness. And there's our exit sign. And a staircase. Looks like we need to go up the staircase, but can't. Um, can we go through it? Oh, we can. Okay. Nice. Okay. Up. There it is. We can go up the dark side of the staircase. Dark side of the moon. Nice little path here. Looks like it goes to the left here in a few seconds. Oh. All right. We're just going to keep falling. Huh. All right. Uh, red, white, blue, tannish, red, blue, red, tan, red. Okay. And then we got two doors. Uh, let's go in here and see what happens. Come out. I suspect this is a loop. We'll do it one more time just to be sure, but let's uh, let's go ahead and loop it. Yep. All right. Um, can we go through like the windows? None of the windows. We've been able to go through like the white spaces. Okay, so there we go. So white means we can go through it, I take it, and black is impassable. Nice. Got to understand that. And we got another recording. All right, Glenn, what do you got for us, man? You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? So this looks like, the, yeah, the water cooler. So we already saw this from that hallway. Um... Looks like we're supposed to go through this door, and looks like there's something over there we need to interact with. Uh, but this place looks pretty big. Let's go do a little exploring here. Uh, water coolers. Looks like you can go back up under there. Let's check this out. Do we see anything over here? No. Oh, wait. What do we got? Nothing. Just, uh, we can't even get there. All right, let's swing around this. I want to go back up this way. There's a little hill or something we can go up. See what we can see over here. Also, is anyone really interested in me doing Lord of the Rings Online live? Um, really wasn't getting much of a response for that. Uh, I really enjoy the game. I haven't played too much um, since I s did my first couple episodes, but I would get back into it if people want me to. I know I keep kind of kicking around the idea of streaming, but... Uh, it seems like any time I, I get in somewhat of a, a good pattern, it falls apart uh, thanks to the summer and just being busy. Let's uh, click on this. Super liminal. We got some squares and maybe a table or something. Scout age six. Birthday October 126. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go through that door. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but we found it. Uh, leave me a comment on down below if you think what you think about that. We come back around here and let's let's hop through this door. 
I suspect there's not much else for us to do. It looks like we could go that way. But I don't think I don't think we're gonna find too much that way. So let's hop out here. Um, and we've got some spaces. So white pass, black doesn't pass. Okay, they reversed it on us. Um, and we fell on the table. All right. So, nope, white. So we fell through the white space. Let's Maybe it's alternating. So let's try white again. Nope. All right. Um, puzzle, puzzle, who's got a puzzle? Can I grab like the traffic cones? No, I doubt, doubt there's anything out there. We've got the the water jug. Wait. So it's like, are they reversed? So maybe it's, I can see the lip. Nope, dang it. Um, some chest, oh, we can pick up the chest pieces. I want, okay, so maybe we have to use the chest pieces to see what tile falls. So let's go there. And then I bet you if we drop this, it would fall and it's gonna land back on the table. No, it didn't. Okay, I got it. Maybe, all right, let's take this one off and put it, hold on, let's jump, let's, all right. So the chest pieces prevent you from falling. Okay, so we're gonna drop that there, grab that. Now let's see if we can pass through the table now that there's no chest piece on it. No, oh, that would have been cool if you could like pass through the table. All right, so we use the chest pieces to prevent us from falling through the um, the board. So I bet you if I clicked on this, we would fall. So let's grab this, put that there. Okay, we got it. We got it, put that there. Grab that piece, put that there. I don't know if we're gonna need it for this next area, but we'll drop that there. Uh, all right, so we chained our way across. Let's hop through this door here. Um, it's like we got a door, a door, and a block. Um, See how big we can make this. Not as big as I need it. Okay, so maybe we have to jump down. Let's go through this door. Maybe there's some more pieces in here. All right, let's get that really big now. Oof, that thing's massive. Put that in that corner like that. And then we can't go through there. We can't go through the dark. What if we did, maybe we have to take the block with us? There we go, okay, so the block. All right, and we'll put our block there. What about, let's check around these corners. No, okay, so I think we had to use that to open the space up. We'll grab that, and then we got that. So now we can use these two pieces to get up to that door. All right, let's make this really big now. Boom, and then we'll make this fairly large. And we'll use this to climb here, to climb here. Uh, we didn't get this as close as it ought to be. All right, let's put that there and put that there. We'll climb up this ramp. All right, this brick of cheese is not as big as it needs to be. Here we go, ramp to here, to the doorway. Nice, and the doorway's gone. All right, so into another checkerboard area. It looks like, it looks like we need to go down, right? I bet you we have to go down. Let's just go over here and check, make sure we don't have to like go through this black door. All right, maybe we have to go through one of the white doors. No, okay, we fall. All right, so let's go down. See how quick we can do this. Nice. I think I just saw, there's a door there, okay. And then here's the floor and out we go. And we are now in a very psychedelic hallway. Look at that. Woo, you make all these shapes, kaleidoscopy type things. Nice. All right, and then looks like we're going left here and out this door. And we can click that box and exit. I hear an alarm clock. Uh, AM759, so I bet you we fall through and then we can see 7.59 AM. Looks like it's about to roll over to eight o'clock here. Eight AM. I wonder if this is the end of the episode. I feel like it's the end of the episode. All right, that was the end of White Spaces here in Superliminal. Let me just turn this alarm off. All right, 
I don't want to miss too much. Uh, that will be a full other episode. Thank you so much for coming out to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming and enjoying this super liminal white spaces episode with me. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. You guys are great. Love all the support, the subscribers, the view times, the likes, everything like that. Keep it up, guys. You guys keep it up. I'll keep it up on my end. If you don't mind, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. And we'll see you in the next video. Ah, that alarm clock. What a familiar, safe sound here in Superliminal. Thank you so much for joining me in the last mission. This is Retrospect. We're going to be checking it out. So sit down, strap in, and uh, let's turn this alarm clock off, shall we? And straight into darkness. Nope, we got music. There we go. And we've been in this room before. Uh, this was an exit last time, but it appears to be blocked off. Okay, so we can't go there. Um... Let's Hello. see. Oh, there my he is. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. We've been in this room as well before. This is the one where you had to use the chess pieces to work your way across that doorway. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. All right, so we seem to be traversing the levels in reverse as Dr. Glenn gives us kind of the motivational speech here oh this episode this level was pretty fun this is the 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 pool and you had yeah there's the bounty castle this is a really good episode Ooh, we slowed down here a little bit so far we really can't interact with anything no puzzles we need to do all right this was yeah there's that big screen back there uh that was the way we went out so we need to probably go this way so I think Dr. Pierce is... Oh, here Your he is again. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. This this was a, I thought this was the best mission. That one we just came out of, where you had to backtrack at the end. That was a really good mission, or level, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, now we're in the, the long dark hallway here. So it sounds like this whole thing was planned, and we weren't in some weird fugue state. You know, trying to escape a dream world that was falling apart. Now we can't even interact with the soda machine there, huh? In a few minutes, you'll be back in the real world. And some part of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait. Is that it? What a good ending. I thought that was going to be some crazy level, but they brought it back and, you know, had a really good message at the end. You know, you can do anything you, you set your mind to. And I, I really like this game with Super Liminal here. A uh, good puzzle game. You had to think your way through some things. Not too hard where you got frustrated, but certainly enough challenges that, you know, uh, even as an adult, it, it took you a, a few seconds to stop and think. Uh, like I said, I really enjoyed the message that if you set your mind to something, you can uh, work your way through it. So, thanks for coming out and watching this video. I know it's going to be a super short one. We're at five minutes of record time, and I know the first 30 seconds minute is me fiddling around with settings. So, this is probably going to be a super short video, four or five minutes. But, uh, yeah, good way to wrap up Super Liminal. So, I'll let the uh, end credits here roll, and then we'll see you guys in the next Tooth and Scrubs video.